Well, let's get more now on the European refugee story. And Jan England is the Secretary General of the Norwegian Refugee Council, and he joins me now live from Oslo. Mr. England, thanks so much for joining us. First, I'd like to hear your opinion on how European leaders have managed this crisis. In my view, they've managed it very badly uh, because there's been no united European policy here. We have a common European problem. More and more refugees, more and more asylum seekers are coming to Europe, as you have seen for a long time already happening uh, to Turkey. Uh, what the only sensible thing is that uh, Merkel and Hollande and Cameron and the EU leaders all of us sit down and say, let's divide the responsibility, divide the burden, have a common approach to this. Building individual borders in one country or the other is very bad for Europe. It's bad for the refugees. But didn't they, in a sense, try that by attempting to institute the refugee quotas? Well, the refugee quota was an attempt to get to alleviate the situation which is in and around Syria. Uh, there was a talk of 40,000 spaces only. Now, of course, hundreds of thousands have started to come directly to Europe. So a very different system has to be uh, designed. I think we have to have a common approach to letting people apply for asylum, even outside of Europe, and for those who come to Greece and elsewhere, uh, ha have their asylum applications assessed, and then if they have a need for protection, divide uh, responsibility in Europe for receiving them. And you had suggested earlier, though, instituting something along the lines of a new refugee, refugee marshal plan. How would that work? Yes. Well, what's needed is, of course, to give hope to people closer to their homes. Uh, Syrians do not want to leave Syria. They are forced to leave Syria for two reasons. It's too dangerous for too many of them to be in Syria. But for others, they are leaving because there's, there is no hope, there is no supplies, there is no school, there is no food, there is no nothing there. We need to help them as close as possible to their homes and including the neighboring nations, also Turkey, but uh, perhaps even more so Lebanon and Jordan, we, who, that are very poor places, small places, need to have a Marshall-style plan to be able to cope with this enormous responsibility and burden of millions of refugees. Now, are any countries, including yours being Norway, setting any sort of strong example for how refugees should be treated and dealt with? Well, I think, the, frankly, the two countries in Europe that stand out in, in terms of being generous in receiving asylum seekers, and that's Germany and Sweden. Uh, in terms of assisting in the region, yes, my own country, uh, Norway, has been giving hundreds of millions of dollars, which is quite a bit for a population of five million people. But, but I think my, I'm just uh, uh, arguing now that we have to triple our assistance to the region next year from a, a billion, you know, 120, 150 million dollars this year and triple that uh, next year. So should other European countries because as it is now, we do not as refugee agencies working in Lebanon and Jordan and in Iraq and inside Syria, we do, we do not have nearly enough funding to do what we should for those in need. Okay, Jan Egelon, thank you so much for joining us from Oslo.